What is the up, my fellas and my fajitas? My name is Classified, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft All the Mods 5. Hanging out here at the base, and we have some major problems. And uh, some things we need to discuss today. And you've probably already noticed from the thumbnail, and probably the description of the video, uh, these guys are everywhere. This has got nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but good grief, these guys are everywhere. Also, our storage. I mean, there is very few slots remaining for anything, so we really have to upgrade our storage. Now, I could go through and I could craft thousands of these barrels and and we could really upgrade our simple storage, but I don't want to do that. I want to get into refined storage, mainly because uh, I just crafted all this, but check this out. So, um, yeah. We are kind of loaded here, and this right here, we are loaded on emeralds and diamonds and iron and redstone and obsidian and silicon and nether quartz, and I tried to make some steel. Uh, are they st Ooh. I tried to make some steel. I wonder if there's steel in here. No. Seats. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, These right here, there's no way to actually lock a seed here, so I've got these seeds I'm not using here. It's just a big thing that if, let's say, you have one steel seed. And oh, by the way, if you can't tell, I lied to you. This in this premium farmland actually gives you seeds in return. So you craft one, you can throw it in here, and it'll craft up. I mean, every time they harvest it, it may get another seed. So what I did was I made a duplicator in here. This is my little duplicator farm. I'm just making extra seeds here. Uh, I've got some random crap in here. But... Um, as right now, I threw a one nether quartz seed in there because, um, let's see, is this the, yeah, the nether quartz seeds, like I said, are gone. Um, they have them planted, they were planted. It's like when it harvests, if there's no room for a seed to go back in here, it doesn't put it back in here. Because, see, I had steel and nether quartz. Well, my steel seeds come up disappeared because it just spit it out. And my nether quartz seed started disappearing. So I grabbed that last one. And what we got to do is make a stack of them. Stack, stack, stack. That way it'll replenish the stack every time it harvests. But it, it'll it have extra. If, it's kind of probably confusing you. But if you don't have the stack in here, yeah, you're going to lose seed. So let's get it. All right, enough of this. We have so much crap. And I'd love to get this filtered into a system. So let's go ahead and get into refined storage. I cleared it. Holy crap. Hold up. I cleared this out a room right here that we could do our refined storage in. And I'm probably going to end up doing uh, storage drawers. I believe storage drawers is in here. Let's see. Store. Storage. Oh, yeah. Storage drawers are in here. Do they have the table? Um, There's the slave. Okay. So we don't have the table that you can make them different colors. Crap. I like that. Uh, I forget what it's called, but drawer controller. Okay, so we're going to need some drawer controllers. Let's first make, um, uh, let's see, we're going to need one, some of these. Let's make, we have so much resources now that as long as we get a place to hold it, we should be fine. Uh, drawer controller. Let's make another one of those. And then uh, we have to make just a regular oak drawer. So we need a chest put right there. This will go here. And we need to do controller, which is right here. And we should be able to do that. Uh oh. Where is it at? Uh, what's it called? A drawer? Okay. I should go there and make the controller. Bet. All right. So what I want to make is, I guess we're going to make these spruce um, two by two regular drawers right here. This is what I want to make. We need buttload of chests and spruce planks. So let's go ahead and make, um, let's make chests. We'll make us a stack of those. And then let's throw the chests. Let's see, where did I do with my chests? Right here. 
We'll grab our planks. What was it like? Not that. It was that. Oh, that's a one by one. I don't want a one by one. I want a two by two. How do I do that? Um. All right, four chests. There's planks in the middle. Okay. Like this. Uh, plank there. Chess. How many of the, Okay, it makes four. So we made... Oh, we can make a stack of them. Bet. And these are the spruce drawers two by two. All right. So let's um, let's go ahead and put one of these down. We'll get our exchanging gadget. Shift right click. And there we go. Um, if we... Is it going to... Okay. Bet. I really wish we could have did these a different style. Kind of made them how... Uh, our style maybe a color pattern but i don't think we're going to so we're going to fill up this ah crap didn't mean to do that we're going to fill up this entire back wall with drawers <laughs> right there so much storage already um let's see let's go ahead and replace you oh crap i don't want to do that let's replace you okay so this is not going to work <laughs> let's Throw this here, this here. Okay. Put that. Ah! Why are you doing this to me? Right there. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have this extra one here. All right. So now we have a good little start to a storage area here. And now these did have a, um, a distance they would go. So we'll have to check... And let's get about center. I didn't make this. I don't think this is yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because I wanted it like not dead center. I kind of wanted it back a little bit, like right there. So let's go down here. All right. And we're going to now let's go up and get some stuff crafted up. Let's see here. We're going to make refined storage let's go ahead and get rid of all this because we don't need any of this anymore refined storage we need to make um a disk drive any cable we're going to need a controller and we i think we're going to need a point but i believe and then external storage this is going to make the uh, drawers be uh external storage a constructor destructor disk manipulator Wireless grid, regulator upgrade. Oh, there's some new things in here that I've, I haven't played with. So, well, I have to get into that and see what all this stuff is. Crafter for auto crafting. Detector. Okay. So, I think we should be good if we just make a controller and some cable and a disk drive. And we need to make us a crafting grid, which is right there. Okay. Bet. So let's get into crafting this stuff. Let's go ahead and make the crafting grid, which is a grid. But we have to make these improved processors. And to make these, you're going to make binding here. Let's go ahead and make, like, a good bit of that binding. And let's see if we make one of those. That's Okay, and then we're going to go in here. We need... Uh, hold up. We need... No. Go to here. Here. We need a basic processor. Oh, I keep I keep clicking out of this. Okay, so iron right there, and we we'll be able to set these up on like auto craft, which is going to be amazing. I think we needed two of those. Is that right? One, two, and then we need a destruction core, which is going to be another one of those iron ones. And all we have to do is throw them in here and let them smelt up. Now, used to you had to make like it was it was a lot different than this. You had to have silicon and things like that, which I may be, I may be thinking about, um, what you call it, uh, AE. But in here, it's just you throw them in there and it smelts them up, smelts up the raw basic processor and turns it to a basic processor. So now we have the raw advanced processor. And there we go. All right, so let's grab the crafting grid. Can we make, oh, we need a machine casing, which is around, oh, quartz enriched iron. Very easy to make. We could make a seed for it, and I may do that, but as of right now, we're just going to make some the old-fashioned way, like that. 
which will make a machine casing. Throw that in there. Make us a grid. Hold up. We didn't make the construction core. And we need to make the destruction core, which makes sense. And then we'll make this and we'll need glass like that. We have us a grid. Now we need to turn it into a crafting grid by using an advanced processor and a crafting table, which I think we have both. We do. Okay. Now, this is going to be just like our uh, storage request table here where we have the crafting thing. We'll also have it on that. Let's make us a controller. Now, we have plenty of silicon. I've, I made sure that I made pl I've been making silicon just so we'd have some. We need another advanced processor. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this thing cooking. Let's see. For the disk drive, we're going to need another one. And uh, that's it. Okay, so mainly this is all just uh, quartz enriched iron is going to be most of the. Uh, that's it. We're going to need more iron, which this stuff is gravy to make. Okay, um, we have our controller. Now we want to make our disk drive, which we need a machine casing. Then we need a chest, and we need our core, our processor, I mean. I mean, we are blowing through this. This is a lot easier than I remember it being. <laughs> Let's make us some cable um, glass. Cable's going to be what connects everything. Let's make us just 12, I guess, because that's all we have right now. And external storage. We're going to need a destruction core. Uh -oh. Hold up. Construction core. Okay, there we go. We need two of those. Um, and a gold one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those crafting. And for the external storage, yeah, that should be it. It should use a cable. Right, so let's pull that out of there. And this electric furnace is... We're going to probably end up like removing all of this stuff here and move it to its own little room because we're probably going to have some automation going when this system kicks in. So it's going to be great. Uh, that's not what we're doing. We're making this. Okay, we need the destruction core. We don't have any, um, any what you call it, uh, nether quartz, but never fear. We can run right here and we can freeze up for a second. And we can grab us all this nether quartz here, which is perfect. They're telling you, like, and then when we get this into the system, it's going to be so much better uh, than doing it this way. Okay, so let's throw all this nether quartz in there and craft it all into, there we go. Now, we should not need nether quartz for a while. All right, so this is a destruction core. This is a construction core, which should be closed on. We should be good. And then we'll just need chest. Um, what else did we need? Oh, we need some more iron, uh, which we just grabbed our quartz, so we should be good. That's not what I want to click on. We should be pretty good. Let's grab, we'll make a stack of it now that we have enough quartz. And... The piece de resistance. We'll grab that and wablamo. Okay, so let's go down here and see. Oh, we need a point. We need a uh, point. We don't have a uh, flux. We don't. We have a plug, but we need a point. Let's make. We may have to go steal one. Can we make any more of these? We cannot because we need more obsidian. Hey, never fear. I know where obsidian is. I know where obsidian is. I'm telling you, like, the mystical agriculture changes the game. <laughs> like, now and then I'm going to get all this stuff routed over here into its own little drawer. And we'll just be able to craft this stuff right from the menu, which is going to be amazing. Just like that. Let's throw this back in there. Let's throw that. All right. Um, what I say? Flux. I kind of lost my train of thought what we were doing there. We need to make 
some more of these. Let's make 40 of them. Why not? And then we'll make a point. Okay. And uh, that does put in search energy. Okay. All right. So now let's figure out how we're going to, we're going to have to build this. Uh, we're going to need our controller and I like to be able to see the controller. So let's put, hmm, it's really hard to hide things. Um, what if we put the cable there? Hmm. And then we'll put the controller there, which it, for some reason, has power. Oh, is it getting wireless power? If it's getting wireless power, this is going to be amazing. Um, not that. Crafting grid on top, just so it's... Yeah, it's getting wireless power. Am I right? No, 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 it's going down. Okay, so maybe it's not. Maybe it just comes with power. So let's select power. And then, there we go. We're good to go. And then we can throw our disk drive, which we're going to get into that later. We're not going to get into that today. I don't know. We might make a... We might make... Blah, 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 blah. Since we're going to move everything, we are going to have to make a couple of disk drives. I didn't think about that. All right. Um, let's go down here. And we'll run our cable this way. I hope we have enough. Let's throw our external storage. This is going to tell us, it's going to tell the system that everything connected to this drawer controller is external storage. So we can then proceed to, no, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. That's a little too low. Let's try to get out of here. We'll throw it right there. That should connect. Now, as of right now, we have nothing in our grid, but if we throw, let's say, cable in that drawer, now we have cables. Sweet! Okay, so we want to get the cables out, though. Um, we do need a drawer controller key, because I do like locking these and putting in as I want them to go in there. So let's see. Key, the quantify, the drawer key locks and holding. Okay, so we need to make one of those. And then the quantify, show or hide storage quantity labels. That's what I want to do. So let's make an upgrade template. Hold up. What do we need? We need sticks. So we're going to need... Can we... Okay, we can't do it that way. Where's all my planks? I guess we'll use some oak planks. All right, there should be enough sticks. And then... Um, let's make... Upgrade template. Well, bamo. And then the other key was the quantify key. Can we make a book and quill? We cannot make a book and quill. Uh, we'll need squid essence for ink sack. Okay, that's fine. I don't really need that. But I do want to go through, and I don't want just anything flowing in these, so I'm going to shift, right click. And as you can tell, it's popping up the little lock symbol above them. If you didn't know, this means that nothing can just automatically flow into here. Um, it only can go in here if it's um, already in here or I put it in here manually. So that's what I like to do, especially getting the essences. Also, I didn't think about it. We're going to need an exporter and we're going to have to set it super high. Yeah, let's, um, we're going to give it some high priority. So let's make an exporter right here. And this is going to tell, let's go ahead and craft up a couple of these. I don't know if we're going to need two of them. No, this one, we're going to need a gold one. Okay. Let's get this going. I don't know why. This, these things are so buggy. <laughs> like, if you're doing the wrong kind of clicking when this comes across, it'll... Uh, I, see, it went in there. I, I, don't, I don't know. I really don't know. It's weird. Um, exporter this... So be, oh, we didn't craft the, um, con the construction core. Now, we have the exporter. And what I'll do is... And I, I believe you make and set the... Uh, I don't know... I don't think you can set the external storage. You set the priority 
10. We'll, we'll try it because used to, I know the used to, I had to slap an exporter on the back of it just to tell it, hey, we're going to export out of the system into this thing. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, I'll leave that disconnected because we will. I will try it to see if you do need that. Now, we need a buttload of cable because we're going to try to connect our... Um, I think if we go just like this, we ought to be fine. I don't think we should actually come up. Yeah, we should be just fine. Yeah, we're going to be right under the... Uh, <laughs> Oh, my stone pickaxe is broken. And I don't have any... Can you use this? No, you can't. Let me grab some... Uh, some cobble. Let's... <laughs> okay. We'll get this fixed. This is why I have not gotten rid of this pickaxe. Because of just how amazing and easy it is to fix. Alright, so let's continue on over here. And we're going to connect some... Um, some exporters problem no importers I'm sorry importers in importing it out of the um, system over here into the main system okay so let's get back over here and let's say we want to first let's go let's go straight down here that's right, marble okay and let oh no 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 this ain't what I want. Let's put that back there. Ah crap, you know what? That's gravel, it's gonna fall. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Alright, so let's see. Can we connect our tunnels uh I think this is the way this is the way. This is the way we were going, I think. And if you didn't notice, I did I don't know if I talked about it, but I did move the uh stuff from out of the center of the floor that was the um latex processing unit there we go all right so let's uh let's throw some cobble back in this hole and this hole and then we'll throw some right there just to make it pretty because i'm all about making it pretty all right so now we're going to need a lot of cable to get over there um yeah Let's uh, also do this. Let's go down one more because I want to uh, be able to walk under the cable. Just in case I've got a ha ha ha. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Okay, <laughs> did not know that cave. I mean, I knew that cave was down there, and it scares me every time I like open up into a cave. It's like I think I've just broke something on my base. So, oh man, it's it's trippy. It's trippy. All right, so let's uh. Let's get this tunnel done. We'll make us some more cable. And then we'll be able to connect this. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to work. Because it's been a while since I set up one of these systems here. So let's make us an exporter. I'm not an exporter, importer. We're going to need like uh, three of them, I think. Okay, so we need three of these. One, two. We already have one. And we're going to need three of these. One, two, three. All right, let's cook these up. And then we'll throw those in there. Now let's, uh, let's work on cable. Which is going to be the refined storage cable. Let's grab us some glass. And hopefully the ref crafting with the refined storage, we should not run into the problem that we're running into where... Um, the uh, ore dictionary is not working correctly. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll fix in the other one. So we're running out of power. I guess is yeah, that's out of coal. That's fine though. I'm cool with it. All right, exporter, not exporter, importer. Ah, I'm typing everything, <laughs> but uh, okay. I'm trying to type with my left hand because I don't I don't want to bump my mouse accidentally. Not my mouse, my uh, microphone, because then I have to disconnect it, and it's 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 a whole thing. One, two, three. Okay, so we have importers. So let's do this, and hopefully I can start putting everything where it goes. Um, give me the cable. Okay, so we'll go 
let's go down one and then not that let's go I'm not sure what I'm doing here I keep placing the cable in the wrong place so here and then okay so that was in the way let's put our torches a little lower and then we'll just uh, run with it this way uh oh what just oh I just <laughs> okay that scared me I didn't know I forgot okay so we changed what that looked like <laughs> okay that scared me a little bit so let's put that down there if we can connect this system today this is going to be amazing that is not what I wanted to put there. I want to put a torch, which I do have. I don't know if I told you guys. I do have, there is a mod on here that gives you the mega torch, which the mega torch, what it does is, let me show you this really quick. I got to remember where I put it. I think I like put it into the hillside over here somewhere. There it is. <laughs> it's a mega torch. And what this does is a 64 block area. It stops uh, mob spawns. And apparently it does not stop the uh, <laughs> the plague people because they are still spawning like crazy. So there you go. That's uh, I put that up just so we'd stop getting so many uh, bad creature spawns. All right. Now, this right here, we need to dig down. And yeah, I, I do want to do this with you guys. I don't want to uh, do this without you. Just in case you uh, you have any questions about how to set up your own, you'll see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So, so let's go this way. This should be right under that. Okay, so let's, let's put importer there and then we'll throw some dirt back right there this should be right somewhere so confused okay there we go so let's go this way oh, it's blowing me backwards hold on okay now let's go down one and then we'll go this way, and we'll hopefully be able to connect these. But before we do, I'll do that later. Uh, before we do, let's look at this importer. If we look here, we can actually set a filter on it. Redstone mode, ignore redstone, type items, blacklist, exact mode. We can, we can set speed upgrades, all that kind of good stuff. But we shouldn't need this. I want to just pull all this stuff out of here. And I want this crap hold on let's go back this way and let's go over here and god this jetpack is so freaking fast i want uh this essence let's say this inferium essence let's start over here on the bottom left inferium and then we'll do like we'll do yellow hold on oh crap i don't want to do that uh you, you can tell i've i've got it locked so even though there was nothing in there. Oh, and you don't have to shift right click. I just noticed that. <laughs> Even though there was nothing in there. Like right now if you'll look. There's nothing in there. But with shift right click. You can look in the actual thing. But right click. Oh left click. I'm sorry. Shift left click should pull the whole stack. And if. Hold on. Okay. And then we'll shift. We'll just. I. <laughs> pull out. There we go. Okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm not showing you guys. <laughs> Because I keep clicking the wrong button. Alright, so now we have, if I shift right click, we have 64. Let's look here. Uh, it's in the system. I want to go ahead and upgrade that guy all the way to the max. So, let's do this before we call it quits today. Let's throw in, I want a uh, emerald upgrade, which is this. I want four of these. I believe it's four which we need to make some more blank patterns real quick let's go ahead and make that many I believe it's four and then a void upgrade which is just obsidian around one of the patterns and what this is going to do is let's see where's that over here 
what this is going to do. So bare hand is shift right click. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we can actually make six. So we'll put six and we'll put the void upgrade at the end. So let's go make two more. And this is going to be like 32,000, I think it is in a hold, maybe. It's, it's been a while. So let's make two more. And the numbers may be different in this mod pack, I'm not sure. But let's get a bare hand, shift right click. We'll throw those in there. All right, so now this should this one drawer right here, which I'm going to have to do this for all of these, which is why I went ahead and made emerald and obsidian. Because obsidian, emerald. And wood for the sticks. Ah! <laughs> okay, uh, so 64. Let's connect the importer with our handy-dandy cables. And let's see if this works. Let's see. Um... I want to go around this way, so we'll go that. Let's pull it up here, and I'll make this look better later. Um, why are you not placing? Do we need a piece of cobble right here? That. Okay. Now, it's slowly pulling the stuff out, but the question is... Ah, crap. Now, I don't have any disk drives in here, so it's got to go there, actually, come to think about it. Because I have nowhere else to store this. So, we're going to... Oh, and you know what? I just thought about it. You only need the exporter is if you put stuff directly into the system. Like, if it was already in there, and then you hook this in, you want to export it out. So, this right here, this, this storage has a uh, priority 10. Let's go ahead and make it like a 50. You know what? Let's make it like uh, 1,000. Might as well. Because I want this thing to be the storage. And I'm going to put some more on the sides and everything. This is, And then we'll have the uh, disk drives, which we'll get into those in the next episode. We'll have disk drives for holding all the other stuff. This is going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to make all these upgrades and I'm going to start getting the essences put in because if you'll look right now, um, get a bare hand. We have 200 something. It's all flowing in here. And if we wanted to craft it, we have our crafting. We could type in like, um, what you call it? Uh, Supremium. We want to make some Supremium. We got to go down the line here, though. So let's go this, this, this. Okay. We want to make... Th no, no, no. Not that. <laughs> uh, this, this. Okay. We want to make some of the green. Bam. And then we'd pull straight out of there. But we need the crystal, too. So anyway, guys, we ran a little long on this episode. So I'm going to have to cut it short. But I hope this kind of gave you a good understanding of how to... I'm going to hook all this together. I'm going to make sure that... This whole system is um, connected together, and hopefully we won't lose any seeds, because hopefully we won't be overflowing our uh, barrels, which is what we are doing now. So I'm going to get everything placed into it, all these essences placed into their own little slot, get them hooked up, and then uh, we'll look at it in the next episode. And I, I may go ahead and make some disk drives. If I do, I'll definitely show you how I did that in the next episode. I'm not sure what we're going to do in the next one, because now I have my storage, and I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm, I'm actually very, very happy about it, because this is something that I've been wanting to get started, but I didn't want to do it without you guys. So I'm just, I've been waiting on you. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Uh, that way you don't miss any episodes or anything like that. Join the Discord, fellas, and we'll see you in the next one.